Hey guys, it's Zemi, and I'm here recording more side quests. So, nothing interesting, just me dicking around the galaxy again. Honestly, I think dicking around the galaxy is like the perfect way to describe any of what <laughs> I'm doing because I'm literally going around and hitting on everything I see. Alright, so I'm gonna explore this galaxy and it'll be long and boring. Bleh. Oh, there's the monkey. That looks good to you. As if any of your meals passed the bucket test. Hmm. You lost me. Picture your favorite food. Now picture it in a bucket beside a barn. Would you still eat it? Do all humans try to ruin everything? <laughs> or just you? Just him, I think. Hey, there you are. Hi, little it monkey. It looks wise. And those are tool-using paws. Are you sure it's not more intelligent than us? It, I have no idea. Okay. That took, oh, about a half an hour. But I went and I <laughs> actually counted all of my goddamn quests to see where I had the most at. They're pretty much all on Vold. Like, there's a few more on Havarl too. And actually some on places I can't get to yet, so I don't feel too bad about those. But Vold is like everything like it has apparently nine quests that I need to do there versus Havaro has the next biggest amount at six so <laughs> I'm gonna be on bold for a while so which is fine I possibly it may be a little bit interesting because I'm not sure if the vault if um, bold is really as hospitable yet as it could be so we're gonna find out Beginning approach. Whoa. Did I see this before? Like, did I just overlook this entirely? It's entirely possible because, holy shit. Wow. I wonder how it works. Do you think they're adapted remnant tech? Oh no. Okay, hi. I need to talk to you. Rylus? That's What's me, that? yes. Oh, hello. I'm Rylus. Wow. You really showed up. Yeah, it's no <laughs> I'm no Wendy special. Maybe. You seem thrilled. Honestly, it's nothing special. <laughs> nothing special? You saved the Moshi from the kid. And you destroyed that awful, awful place. I, anyway, sure. I should get to the point. <laughs> okay. Your raid on the exaltation facility sent the Kets scrambling. Yeah. They're trying to get their operations in order. Our That's scouts thing, report though. increased Ket movement through certain areas of Vold. Okay. Not military, though. Science and research vessels. Is that... Yeah. So something that could involve exaltation, or the creation of a new exaltation lab. Oh, that would be bad. That's what I thought. Either way, Ket organizing means trouble. We means go shoot Ket. break into their bases. Go shoot Ket. But someone has to stop them. Yeah. You're talking to the right person. We always help our friends and allies. <laughs> I knew you'd help. I'll send the nav point immediately. Thank you. All right. So we're going to go deal with that first, I think. It's right there. <laughs> it cannot be cold here. Heard the fur. Cora, can I have a word or two? You get one. Oh. It'll sound more sincere if it's two. <laughs> one. All right. <clears throat> Anti disestablishmentarianism. Why? So much for sincerity. Why? If you only give me one word, I'm going to pick a big one. <laughs> Just shut up. If you'd let me have two words. PB, I swear, I was going to say, I'm sorry. We're always trying to push your buttons. No, you aren't. Now, if you'd give me three words. What? Just quit while you're ahead, please. <laughs> Cute, isn't he? Who? Ryder. Smile, <laughs> big eyes. Oh, his ass isn't bad either. Thank you. I'm not doing this. Why? No, but you want to, right? I, I'm... I know I do. Um, you getting all this, writer? I yeah. Get me out of it. <laughs> I'm like, nope. <laughs> or Cora.
short-lived, fragile, no natural armor or protection, high metabolism, evidence of exception, exceptional brain function. There is an audio log saved on this device, Pathfinder. Cat, let's get a translation, Sam. Processing. The unvarnished code that expresses this projection of a bioelectric field has been isolated. The process to integrate this into our own genome is ongoing. Early success is documented. Once complete, adaptation should be distributed to all ascendant and humans. Ability may also prove useful as part of base soldier configurations. All research has been transmitted to the Empire. Exaltation is not just about making more cat. It's an exchange. So what's an original cat like? How much have they stolen? There's bound to be more here. Let's keep moving. Yeah, I certainly got a lot of data here. I don't necessarily want to interact just yet. Place is so... Krogan. Long-lived, large-muscled. Hardy, resistance to resistant to long range of large range of environmental conditions, superfluous organs. <laughs> Some evidence of chromosomal damage not fully understood. Retaliation large. So they're not necessarily a viable species because they can fight back so much. Sorry, extremely long lived. Natural ability to create gravitational fields of some variety, not fully understood. Monogendered. Precise method of reproduction not fully understood. Important rumor to take in gen rumor to be able to take in genetic traits of other species to improve theirs. Of great interest to premise. So they like the Asari, obviously. Another audio log detected. Let's hear it. Transmission is unacknowledged by Homeworld. Possible breakdown in connection mm. and information mishandled. Investigation ongoing. Logs to be updated shortly. <laughs> Things getting lost <laughs> in the post. A universal problem. Yep. I wonder if we can find the follow-up logs. Oh, we got lots of... Okay. Oh, human. Soft-skinned. No natural armor or protection. Without technology, can only operate within a narrow range of environmental conditions. Genetically diverse, renowned for tenacity and adapt adaptability. Phase shoe. With the Angaran genome, genome unraveled, we have begun the process of isolating the most valuable trait to, the, to augment the cat. Bioelectrical discharge. Isolated and reproduced. We have commenced the, distri the distribution of this ability amongst ascendants. Conversion of light to energy. Tricky. Much more integrated into Angaran physiology, our current focus. Note, Angaran genetics complex, but elegant. Lacking obsolete residual traits commonly found in evolved species, similar to Ket in certain ways. All transmissions appear to have failed. Some of the team has suggested that this research is being prevented from leaving humans. Yeah. Troubling implications. Set aside for now. What? Taking steps to verify that primary communications are still active. I'm picking up the nav point for another Ket station. Probably their primary communications. I'm wondering who's blocking there. If we take their... out that comm station, does that mean the cat can't call home? Yeah. Well, yeah, of course. But I'm wondering if... Scanned and recorded. I, I don't know what that does. Okay. Um, but I'm wondering if... Data saved. Who's been blocking their... Communications? Pathfinder, these samples all contain the same genetic sequence. Yep. At first, it appears to be a familial connection, but the genome shows signs of modification. Evidence suggests the sequence was drawn from a single individual and incorporated into other cat. The Archon. Yeah. Exaltation. Well, we knew that, though. So, does the Archon control the cat because they see him as a progenitor? Or does his rank give him the privilege to propagate his genes like this? A cultural question beyond <laughs> my purview. In any case, the stuff we found should be of great interest to the science team back on the Nexus. Okay. Well, that's a thing for another time, writer. Let's see. Previous report was 39 cycles ago. Senate requires an update of progress within the sector. A reminder that all campaign leaders are expected to deliver reports once in every 15 standard cycles. Senate recognizes that the, pr the presence of the scourge phenomenon may be disruptive to communications. Take steps to circumvent this obstacle so that regular updates can resume. This is your second reminder of this nature. Please acknowledge receipt. So, the Archon's not the Ket's supreme leader. 
there's more like him all over Andromeda. If they find a new species, they send information about it back home. Oh, yeah. This is... Apparently this is new to us. I, I hadn't realized that they hadn't known this, but... Brothers, communication orders require explanation. Harkon commands to block all transmissions of Angara data to the Empire. It is a breach of protocol. Wait, what? is the Archon going off book? Okay, that's unusual. That's much more unusual. Like, I mean, it, it's not unusual for a leader to go Life support restored. Go a little rogue, but Archon is aware of shifting situation in Helios. If Archon's opinion is that protocols are not to our benefit, accept his wisdom. What? He is the Senate's voice in Helios and must be obeyed. Wait, what? Someone's repeating the party line. It sounds like the Ket are starting to question what the Archon's doing. If this yeah. continues, it might be good for all of us. I'm... So, what's next? There is likely nothing to be done, but conflicts between factions seldom resolve quietly. <laughs> then we'll just have to keep an ear to the ground for now. With luck, something will happen. Okay, so that's... that's that. Da dong. Alright. But that's interesting. Um... For one thing, yeah, I mean, yeah, of course there's other Archons. I, I knew that was going to be the case. Where It's the entire freaking galaxy. Of course they're not. Archon is just a title for the Ket, obviously. There's going to be others of that title. That's nothing. That's not surprising to me. Perhaps more surprising is that this particular one is going a little bit rogue, maybe. And while some cats seem to care, the other archons aren't necessarily doing anything about it. Normal temperatures. That's what's kind of interesting to me. And that Primus, or Primus or whatever, I thought he was, like, supreme head of cats, like, higher than all the archons. So, the I'm not sure... temperatures are within acceptable limits. I'm not sure if he's really... He obviously seems to be agreeing with the archon, but... It also makes it sound like he I obeys the archon. Decrease. So I'm not too sure. Environmental temperatures are within acceptable limits. Excuse me if I hump this. Ah no! <laughs> ah! Right, come on, get up the hill. There we go. Turn back around. We want to make sweet, sweet love with the air. This is a cool little cave, I mean. Whoa, hi. Guess the neighbors aren't so friendly, but it's a nice little cave. Well, yeah, but what is this place? No, you, you, we're not going to talk about it? No, it, it's just... Okay. Cora, don't worry. When I want something, I go get it. But I probably won't keep it. What? Ryder, 
More than likely, you can have him when I'm done. Um. Right here, you know. You think I want Ryder? Hey. Hey. He's playing the bug up your ass. Okay, I'm done. I'm a little offended. I'm a little hurt, guys. Shit. Oh god, where am I going? Death. Death is where I'm going. Where the frickin' hell am I? Okay, stop. Stop. Car. Calm down. Okay. <laughs> now, we're going to very calmly and rationally think about what we've done. <laughs> Where am I? I've got to very carefully try and do this where I land on one of these bridges. Alright, oh, oh thank god. I'm reading a normal temperature range, Pathfinder. Woo! Life support restored. No, we're gonna go. We're gonna go our own way. Possibly through the back door. It's okay. Oh, fun. What? Cat? I think I may have broken the game by coming in the wrong way. <laughs> Look, I found the shield! Alright, I think... Yeah, I think the game wants me to go in a very specific way. It's not exactly intending for me to, you know, fight my way up the damn mountain, then fall down it in just this spot. <laughs> Which is the problem with open world exploration games. You get players like me, who, you know, rather than going in through the door... No, I'm gonna go through the frickin' ceiling, basically. So much but... Okay, at least... The enemy spawning, though, is kind of a good sign. It tells me that maybe I'm in an okay place. Like... Like, obviously we're not in the best conditions here, but... Okay, and the reason I am using Bob for these long distance fights, I did read that there is a pretty pretty big bug with these quests up here on gold. And essentially if you try to use your sniper rifle too much, it will completely break the quest and you won't be able to continue. The temperature is falling, Pathfinder. So I'm trying to avoid that as much as I possibly can. Hi. Can you come out? No. There you go. I look like dead. Yeah, works. This appears to be a cat secure storage building. Okay. The entry is locked out by defense matrix. I've noticed. Damn. Whatever they're protecting must be important. We should find that defense matrix and shut it down. I think I'm already kind of in. <laughs> like, because I think I, I forced, I broke the game and forced my way in, maybe? Slightly? Hard to say. That's where I think- well, I don't know. I can't tell which is the main building, but... The command base is just ahead. I know it's already pretty cold here, but stay extra frosty. Pathfinder, I recommend you head toward the primary tower. I don't know it which one that is. The the base. I would- I would gladly do so, but I don't know which one that is, so...
Ooh, check me out. I'm level 20. All right, we're gonna go in here and smash up some yeah. Hey, yeah, look, I made it. Hi, oh gosh, hi. <laughs> Excuse me, let me just shoot you in your ankle real quick. Hurry, Phoebe, you can do that. I wish I could do that too, but okay, fine. That way. down there. I like staying in the warmth here. <laughs> Hi! CB, what are you exactly trying to fight over here? Okay. There's still like one more. Where are you? I don't see you. Alright. I don't know where you guys went, but okay. Maybe he was fighting over here. I'm a temperature decrease. Where is this guy? Aha! All the way up there. Okay, not gonna worry about him then. Environment check. Temperatures are within acceptable parameters. I can't get in through here. Life support at 100%. Alright. So, running up. Hi. How did I miss? How am I missing? Nice shot. I don't think that's the best place for that, but okay. I don't see anybody else. I see like one other person, but I don't know where he is. He's upstairs. I'm gonna be so mad if I brought myself all the way up here. Hi. Wow, you guys are. <laughs> I love it. I can just aim my gun over that. Okay. Get, get got. Oh gosh, okay. The temperature is falling, Pathfinder. Oh god, what the freaking hell just shot me in the back? Oh god, he's up there. Hi! Okay, now he's not. The defense matrix can be shut down by identifying and destroying critical subsystems. Cool. Pathfinder, I recommend using your scanner to identify the critical systems. Be careful. Destruction of non-critical systems will create hazards. Oh, good. All right. This is a critical subsystem. Sabotaging three of these will disable the defense matrix. Okay. I'm for it. Oh, cool. They're all connected, too. It looks like, maybe. Uh, my team's in combat, and I don't know who it is. Oh. The temperature him. is falling, Pathfinder. It would be in combat with him. And him. So much violence. Yeah. Alright. So this one is okay to sabotage?
Well, it was nice of them to put them all in the same room for me. The matrix has been destroyed. The secure storage structure is now unlocked. All right. Let's see what the cat were hoarding. I don't know where I'm supposed to go. Ooh, there's a box or something. Yeah, I should probably start learning how to equip ammo to my guns. A security terminal has locked down access to the Ket Tower. Rude. The terminal is protected by a force field. Rude. I have marked the location of the three Ket generators that power the force field. Disabling all the generators will allow you to shut down the security terminal. Alright. I see you there. Gotcha. Come on. Take your head over. Where are you going? What are you guys doing, you dumbass? Ow. Found them. Ooh. I don't know who's doing that, but I love it. <laughs> Keep doing it. <laughs> I'm assuming it's PB because, again, Cora, I haven't leveled up at all. Two generators down, one to go. It's good. I'm reading a normal temperature range, Pathfinder. Disabling yeah, the alarm will call off reinforcements. Life support I restored. Nope, oh, going in here. Don't let them interrupt me. All generators have been disabled. Hey, hey. I have marked the coordinates of the security terminal. Destroy it to unlock access to the Ket Tower. Thank y'all. I tried. But... One's gone. The temperature is falling, Pathfinder. Hi. The ambient temperature is normal. Life support is back online. The terminal has been destroyed. To the tower. To the tower. What tower? Oh. Can I go in the store yet? Or is this just a? This door is just for show. It's a lie. It's a. It's a lie. All right. Here we go. There. Let's hope that stops them. Yeah, me jumping into a room. <laughs> Let's hope that stops them. Ha ha. They'll never know. I see lots of cats. Man, I hate the cats. You know what? They're not fond of you either. Her, her, her. I don't know what's going on. Here they come. All right, give me. Open your table here. Do that. There you go.
Wow. <laughs> so dramatic. So dramatic. Pathfinder, it appears each of the hangar platforms has an automated fueling system. If you can access the controls, I can overload the system. One's gone. Hey. Life support is stable. Thank God. Just one out. All hostiles down. Pathfinder, the controls to shut down the cat base are located at the top of the tower in Zenith Observation Room. There is an elevator access nearby that you can take. made it let's go kill it oh wait nope I lied we're we have to go up here for to kill it is that loot loot I don't think I've gotten a lot of loot from this I've gotten some but hey I've gotten lots of XP and I found out PB is actually pretty kind of useful to have She's not as good as Korra, but having her anti-gravity thing is extremely helpful. And I don't know what skill that is, but if I can learn it on a different character, I probably will. <laughs> see. I also kind of forgot to talk again. Oopsie. Woo! Yeah, Berber. Damn, that's a view. Oh, that's a view? I didn't see it. it, it there's too much reflection. Oh, yeah, that's nice. I wish I could see it more, but the reflection kind of. There. Let's hope that stops. Haha. -ha. All right. So that's awesome, and that's awesome that it actually ups the viability for Andromeda itself, not just Vold here, because Vold's pretty much almost near 100 percent now. <laughs> Give me back to a safe. Area with warmth. Ooh, oh, something there. Okay. What? Hi. You're already here. We tried to take down this place for months, and you made it look so easy. Yeah. Well, you, the, the trick is to find the construction <laughs> systems. Leave the rest of the kept vulnerable. Remember, Jarnik? The shield around it's come down. Oh. The frozen city. That's the one. Cool. This is the perfect <gasps> opportunity for a final push. Cool. While they're still dealing with the chaos. Yeah, hell yeah. I don't really need I'll to resupply. Yeah. In the meantime, I'll see if I don't need to resupply right now. Here. Be careful, Ryder. This is that's so cool. I want to go to a frozen city. I Wow, I just leveled up like legit. I detect unusual signals from that Angara Pathfinder. I recommend scanning the body. The cat planted a chip in this Angara. Oh. A tracking chip? Can you reverse it to get a nav point? The chip is disabled, but if I receive more scans, I could repair the signal. Okay. I'm assuming that just means around the planet, yeah? So, yes, yes. Pathfinder, this area can be mined for resources. You can extract minerals via your mining interface. There we go. Copper. Oh. 
Where am I? Someone getting cash is here now. Eyes over here, PB. What? I like them where they are. Yep. Well, well. Well, well, well. Detecting cat technology here. That me. and sending it to a single location. Can we track it down? It's heavily encrypted. I may be able to break it with more information. It got destroyed. Like, sorry, Sam, I can't really do anything about it. It got destroyed in the fight, which... Oh, look at this place. Let's take these guys out and see what's down there. Oh, a dig site. Interesting. Serving with Asari commandos doesn't make you Asari. When did I say that? You sure act like it sometimes. It's kind of funny. Just saying, don't be that person. Nothing worse. So there's apparently a cave beneath me. Aha, there they are. <laughs> Freaking love my turret. These black shields, okay. I would like a warm spot. Like, you guys have that, right? Like, please tell me you have a heater up here or something. That would be excellent. No? Nope, just a gun thing. I need I I need heat. I need a heat source here. Like I don't necessarily have time to do this. Alright, I don't know what that was, but okay. Look, here we come across. I see you up there. Oh shit, I'm about to die, like... Right between the eyes. I can't. I can't stay here. I have to... Yeah, I have to go. I can't. Our life support is way too low. Okay. Hui <laughs> boy. Holy boy. Alright. So, we're actually gonna stop this episode here. That It's probably gonna end up being very short. No, I don't want to fast travel. <laughs> but, as you can see, I did a lot of old. I don't know how much of this is actually gonna be shown, but... Viability is up to 97%. I'm still not done with bold, obviously. Um, I have this ice cave here that I need to do. Um, and I did take out the entirety of this damn cat base. Without going through the entrance, I would just like to say. I have no idea what this objective is. I could not find it. Same with this one. Some of these... They, they don't have logos, so... Or, you know, and they don't tell me what it is, so I'm not... 
really sure what I can do, but I got a few things left here and there on the planet to do. Um, and, but otherwise, Vold is actually looking pretty good. I still have a lot of quests here, though. That's the problem. I spent, I have been recording for three hours just on Vold. Just Vold. Like, okay, okay. I lied. Half an hour was doing inventory shit, and I did figure out a lot more about my guns and armor and things like that. Um, and I did clear out a lot of my inventory. Um, but, like, for all of, for everything that I've done here, I still have all of these quests to do that are in bold. Not to mention, you know, a bunch of these tasks are in bold. Um, and then a bunch of my ally and relationships are on bold somewhere. Like, that one is somewhere. I have to wait for new intel for the cat. Um, but I don't, you know, can't really do much. Anyways, so it looks like I didn't make any progress, honestly. Like, except except for making this planet hella livable, considering it's still freezing cold. <laughs> but it looks like I haven't made any progress if you just look at the quests I've done. The quests in this game take forever. Like, I'm not- I have been going directly from quest to quest. Okay, the base took a lot- to, took a lot- long time to do. That was technically not a quest until halfway through the base when it was like, Hey, by the way, you- you might as well destroy the base while you're through here. Thank you for watching, uh, if you did, um, depending on how long this is. <laughs> I- I'm hopefully gonna cut it a lot- of, a lot of it out. You don't need to see everything that I did. And like I said, it's three hours long right now, so that's pretty painful. But I did, you know, I didn't do a hell of a lot as much as I wanted to, but I got a few things done. So, again, streaming Mass Effect on Fridays at 7 p.m. Central. Thursdays so what is... what makes you tick, Cora? Oh, well, fine. Be this way. Oh, you're no fun. <laughs> no, getting yammered at isn't fun. I agree. Yammer back then! Raise your pulse rate! Something! No. I'll just remain at the ready if you don't mind. Sorry. Oh, I dozed off for a minute. <laughs> Those two. Anyways, um, <laughs> it's like PB hits on Korra almost as much as Jal did, but at the same time, not in the same way. Thank you for watching. We're actually going to end this for real, rather than me getting distracted by them talking again. So, see you guys later, and goodbye!